Welcome back everybody, I am the Jimmer, and this is the Propane 1 million RP King of the Hill Championship. This is episode 3 of season 2. This is the first round of the losers bracket of our uh, mini tournament here at the beginning to determine our initial three kings. Uh, this vessel in front of you is the Weenator by myself, the Jimmer. This is a hydrofoil uh, with one really big gun uh, mounted in the front. And uh, we are fully slowed down. And as you can see, that gun fires just insanely fast. And the Weenator is going to be going up against the Moby Dick by Macbeth. Both these ships starting off facing each other. The, the Macbeth, Macbeth has this uh, very impressive missile barrage and then a triple uh, frontal turreted um, advanced cannons here and then it also has torpedoes I do believe alright and we're gonna go ahead and run the both the first and second round of the losers bracket so we'll have uh, another another battle with two new ships next time, and then the uh, two winners will face each other for our final battle of this episode. But let's get things sped up and underway. And oh, is this what just happened? Alright, we are now up to full speed. It looks like those shots from the Wienator were able to break through. It looks like they uh, detonated some advanced custom cannons. And the Moby Dick has been very quickly eliminated. And it looks like the uh, Weenator uh, didn't, didn't escape unscathed. It's uh, floundering over here. It looks like its shields are, are down. And uh, yeah, it's, it's taken some damage. Yeah, down to 90%, but that was that was an incredibly quick battle. Uh, it was over before we were even able to get started. But uh, with that, the Moby Dick by Macbeth has been eliminated. Uh, thank, thank you to Macbeth for your submission. Um, did fairly well in, in both battles, but uh, unfortunately knocked out here. But um, as this is an ongoing tournament... Um, hopefully you're able to, you know, do a little work on that, and uh, we'll see it again um, once we get underway with our uh, normal uh, tournament schedule. All right, so next we're going to move on and do the battle between The Truth of Christmas by Zionix and The Shielded Turtle by Kelvin DeShooter. All right, here we go for battle number two. This ship in front of us is the Shielded Turtle by Kelvin DeShooter. Uh, very cool. I really like the uh, look of this. Um, this ship, uh, kind of very shallow um, in the water, very thin, but rides right on the surface of the water, uh, kind of giving a, a very small target um, to its enemies. Has a, just a massive barrage of missiles. Um, actually, very similar to the uh, Moby Dick we saw in the, the last battle. With this uh, massive amount of missiles, um, all with flares, and then some uh, front-facing torpedoes, and then also uh, a pair of 
believe it has two, one in the front and one in the back, um, advanced custom cannons on turrets. And that's going to be going up against the Truth of Christmas by Psyonix. Kind of, you know, really, really ruined it for me here. Just, uh, look at that, popping, popping into, uh, visual range. Santa is a lie, just, I mean, I don't, I don't know what kind of person would, would make something like this. A terrible person, a terrible person would do that. <laughs> we have, uh, this is the Truth of Christmas. It's a fortress with, um, lots of missiles and a very powerful turret and that, uh, very, uh, interesting sign slash shield there. And then it's, uh, partner in crime here is the fake Santa, uh, thruster craft with a bunch of, uh, advanced custom cannons. I think it has missiles too and is, uh, very fast. But uh, we'll get things sped up and underway, and we'll see how this battle plays out. Alright, and uh, looks like this is going to be full speed, at least for this initial alpha strike here, until uh, some of these missiles clear out. Looks like these missiles... Uh, coming from the shielded turtle are going to connect. I may have spawned this... Uh, I guess not. It's not too bad. I spawned it a little higher before. I'm not sure uh, where Zionix would prefer it to be at. Are these... Oh, those are decoys. So yeah, he probably does want it a little bit lower for those decoys to uh, pull missiles uh, down underwater. And it looks like, are these, these, yeah, these missiles are slowly coming in. But it looks like they're just kind of floating through the middle of the uh, legs sticking down here. Firing that custom cannon. Let's go take a peek at the turtle. And uh, get a damage report while we're on the way. Alright, everybody 99%. So a little bit of damage getting off. But uh, nothing real serious yet. Once again, I gotta say, I really like the, the look of this turtle. Very, like, futuristic. And how, how it's just, like, just barely above the surface. And seems really fast, too. I wonder how fast is this going. Oh, well, I guess not that bad. Like, thir 13 meters a second. It's, it's gonna be a little bit vulnerable to torpedoes, but uh, I haven't seen any, any come in yet. Looks like its missiles are oh and Santa, fake Santa is uh, having a bad time up here. Looks like these missiles are uh, connecting. Has a, a decent lamb system, it appears to be taking out quite a few of these missiles, but I, I did see a couple uh, uh, sneak past and connect. Here we've got a uh, launch coming straight up. Let's see if these missiles are able to connect. Looks like they're switching targets and going for the truth of Christmas and the uh, fake Santa that's over here. Plugging away with its lambs. Oh, there we go. And it looks like it's uh, getting some uh, cannon shells down here on the turtle. The turtle has fairly good shielding, as the uh, name would imply. I don't think... It doesn't look like any of those shells are getting through. It's hard to tell. We are in uh, degraded mode, so we don't get trails on the uh, bullets. Oh, the turtle all the way down to 83%. Big Santa 99, Truth of Christmas 95. So the uh, the turtle is taking some damage here. Must be under the water line where we can't see it. Oh yeah, there we go. There's a uh, fairly large. Um, hole in it here. I believe that was, there was a, was that an ammo store? I thought there was another turret back here, but I could be wrong. Yeah, it looks like maybe just an ammo store. So the turtle is uh, floundering a little bit. And are these missiles? Oh, I see what's happening. Yeah, the, uh, the missiles are falling just short, and then they're kind of uh, dipping down and uh, coming up into that uh, soft underbelly of the turtle. Oh, I didn't even... We saw this before. It's got a uh, turret on the bottom. I bet that is for um, taking out submarines. And here we go. A very large barrage. I believe this is coming from the Truth of Christmas. And we see some EMP damage coming in. 
and uh, let's see if there's any not too many holes the uh, the buff to armor in the uh, most recent patch was I, th I think fairly fairly good um, making it so that uh, if a, a few missiles or uh, missiles or shells get past your defenses um, your your armor can hold up for at least you know two or three shots before being destroyed. And uh, this barrage may be the end here. I believe the turtle is uh, fairly heavy and it uh, will start to sink um, once it gets a bit of damage into it. And all oh, and not even to get to that point, we see AI dead. So it looks like Zionix will be moving on with his Truth of Christmas and Fake Santa. And we'll be going up against the uh, Weenator in our next battle. And uh, condolences to the Shielded Turtle by Kelvin DeShooter. Uh, very cool ship and I think uh, maybe just a few tweaks and uh, we'll see this we'll see this coming back. Uh, I really really like the look of the, the ship. Um, very like futuristic and just kind of cool cool to watch and uh, hopefully you're able to you know make some tweaks and uh, a few improvements here and there and uh, we'll see it again in, in the future. But uh, let's get our next battle underway. Alright, let's get the interface off. And this battle is going to be between the Truth of Christmas and Fake Santa by Zionix taking on the Weenator by myself, the Jimmer. And let's get this battle sped up and underway. Alright, going full speed here. See that uh, ins insane uh, machine gun cannon fire from the Weenator coming in on the fake Santa. Fake Santa's shield's doing a good job of deflecting those shots and uh, we see some missiles coming in and it appears they are going to connect. Um, some of them distracted by flares but uh, quite a few connecting here. This could be a uh, quick defeat for the Weenator. Oh and it appears the Weenator has uh, done some good damage to the fake Santa. I see some uh, missing blocks, but maybe just to superficial pieces. Minotaur looks like it's it's intent on uh, hunting down this fake Santa. We see some of those shells getting through. Very close battle. Let's get a damage report. Minotaur 98, Fake Santa 96, Truth of Christmas all the way down to 89. Looks like a slight lull in the battle here. Oh, oh there's a missile barrage coming in behind. And it appears the engines off the Minotaur have been destroyed. Minotaur uh, dropping down in the water. I don't think it'll sink. But uh, it's going to have trouble getting that uh, fixed gun on target. Fake Santa coming in, uh, attacking from the back here where uh, they cannot receive re uh, return fire. 
And oh, we see a massive explosion on the Wienator. Oh, it has been blown completely in twain. Once again, once again, the Venus is blown in twain. <laughs> so we'll see this uh, despawn shortly. I'm sure. I'm sure we're, it'll be just a second before we see the uh, two damage tag pop up. Damage report: Truth of Christmas 92, Fake Santa 99, Venator 65. I'm surprised it hasn't despawned yet. Uh, still hanging on. But uh, we'll, we'll certainly, we'll certainly have lost this battle. And then we see another explosion. That's the, uh, the gun going up and the two damage. There we go. All right, congratulations to the Truth of Christmas by Zionix. You'll move on to the next round. And uh, there it goes. This is the uh, Wienator being eliminated. Um, honestly, did about as well as I thought it was going to do. Um, the cannon was just kind of, kind of a gimmick. Uh, I, I built it for, uh, the 20k battleship, um, tourney that Savage was hosting, but, uh, unfortunately I wasn't able to use it. And, uh, I just kind of stuck it, uh, in, inside the, uh, Wienator there. The Wienator was basically just the one gun, and the gun was, like... I think like 700 RP, so kind of a silly design, but uh, I might try and uh, make it work. It's just so insane with that. Uh, uh, I think it's like 20 rounds per second of uh, uh, 250 millimeter, so a uh, fairly, fairly good punch, but uh, not enough to take out the truth of Christmas here. Very uh, festive design. I like the uh, Christmas trees. Very cool. All right, and uh, that's all for this episode. I hope you guys like the battles. Um, it's been a lot of fun, and uh, if you like these, you'll you'll definitely like the battles coming up. I believe in our uh, next uh, entry or in our next episode, we will see the um, Iron Maiden by Poldarn take on the Omega Nightmare by Scarlet Devil. And that will be our uh, first for our first place. And then um, the loser of that will take on the the Truth of Christmas for third place. I believe is how the bracket's set up. But uh, once again, I hope I see you in the next video.